Kevin Sargent back at Blockchain Futures Conference 2022. It's starting to wind down. I know we said we were going to head over to happy hour, but why not have a conversation with Hassan from Functionland to tell us a little bit about what he does and how he's differentiating himself in the cloud computing space. Thank you, Stefan, for the opportunity. I'm Hassan, co-founder of Functionland. What we are building at Functionland is this decentralized cloud infrastructure. So basically individuals providing what we are getting from central servers like Google's and Apple's to each other. Like I back up your files, you back up my files, we both back up Stephen's like data. And that's an individual level. So we don't need to pay these central servers. Everyone is holding their own data, which makes it more secure, safer and we only share what we want with anyone who we want with the same experience uh, of cloud, but in a more secure way, basically. We love that, and we know how important decentralization is to you and your company, Omnia. Tell us a little bit about how you see things like decentralized cloud services and the impact Omnia can have to help those same users. It's a great topic that you pointed on because there are some uh, major things happening back in the days, like centralized points of failure more exactly a piece of software that runs on the same infrastructure. So we have even decentralized protocols going down because they're relying on centralized infrastructure. So we at Omnia have this approach right now where we let people onboard their own nodes in our, our products so we can have a larger footprint of nodes so that we can help the progress of decentralization and moving the, how we said before, the data to the owner. Speaking of possible vulnerabilities, now you, you know people are using space in the cloud Security and privacy has to be paramount in your business. How do you protect your users? How do you provide privacy with your customers by still maintaining some level of compliance? So what, like the technology that we are using, that's the same encryption technologies that Google is using, except this is more secure because at Google there is an admin who has a password. If they, you know, like we, we heard this that, that at Twitter, uh, an employee at their last day, they actually blocked one of the Twitter accounts of Trump. So you know, things that happen, like one person at the company has access to block someone. That level of access doesn't exist here. You are the owner and we use the same encryption so the data is as safe here as on Google servers, basically. That's awesome. Even in that concept with nodes and security and cloud space, how do you pro provide access to nodes and even running your own nodes to help people stay private until they get that transaction finally completed? So initially we thought uh, to engage also the low code and no code because if you want to run a node, you don't have to be an expert running a node. So we offer the possibilities to the low code, no code segment to run their own nodes. And at the same time for the technical ones to have their own nodes registered in our things. And that's the approach, but of course we have taken into account the privacy. So we are leveraging MixNet, which is technology that offers off-chain privacy. It's pretty similar how Tor works, but more and more secure. And uh, that's why we didn't went to the chase of VPN because there's also an issue of centralizations, right? So this is the, our approach that we're having at Omnia. Awesome, now speaking about cloud computing, cloud space, what do you do with all that customer information? Do you touch it? And how do you stay decentralized? Because we had a couple, couple conversations today about true decentralization. How decentralized are you and how hard is that to maintain? So before going into that, right now I see a big opportunity to partner up with Omnia on, on that level. But regarding decentralization, the level of decentralization, because there is a lot of like blockchains out there that are distributed but not decentralized. Like they are basically nodes on AWS. So what we are doing, the level of decentralization is by individuals. So we are pro providing this plug and play hardware to customers, to consumers, that they can simply plug it to the internet and forget about it. They open their phone and start using everyday apps like Photos app, Drive app, like a Password Manager app, even later down the road, like uh, an alternative to YouTube, to Netflix. So these apps are available to them and it's a plug and play device. So we can expect anyone to simply plug it and start using it. That's the level of decentralization that we need, I think. That's awesome, but I think even in the DeFi NFT space, even using Discord, people are actually accustomed to losing money. How do you get people more concerned about their owning their own data, saving money, and con their own consumer protection? So, actually, the people who use our, uh, our, our service, most of them don't care about privacy. That's, uh, I think, the case with a lot of projects. Like, people, as, as, as long as you give them a good experience, they don't care about privacy. So that's one of the hustles of Web3 that how to engage users. 
what we provide to them is these free applications. So cancel your subscription to Google, you can freely use this application when you own your own data. So that's our promise to them and what we provided to them actually. So cost efficient. That's awesome. Now you actually are focused on privacy. How do you focus on privacy and still maintain what Hassan's talking about consumer experience? So it's a great point tracking because if a guy or a business he like paid half a million in the technology, they don't want for you to change their thing that they built. So we at Omnia try to be as frictionless as possible, meaning that we didn't interfere at all with their products. So the only way that uh, someone can change their interaction, it's only an endpoint that can be changed. The flows is exactly the same. So we have the same, let's say, target in our heads to be as frictionless as we can. That's awesome. Functionland has a big booth. Talk about your conference experience, what it's been like in the big booth section with a lot of big organizations and hanging with the big boys and girls uh, of Blockchain Futures Conference 2022. Yeah, it was amazing. Like we had a couple of partners and investors that we never met. So this, this conference actually brought together a lot of people from around the world. So we got to meet them in person. Like we, we, we met people from Polygon, from DoroHacks here. They, they are actually our biggest partners and it was amazing to see them in person. Put faces to the names that we knew on email. I'm sure the investors are happy that you have a big booth here. <laughs> You're making good use of the money. How about for Omnia? You guys have had unbelievable traction over the last two days for a big sign that says privacy, security, and compliance. We didn't see people stopping for those kind of uh, key terms back in 2017. Talk about your experience here and maybe some of the conversations that customers are talking to you about and why they stopped off at your booth. I think it's a hot topic right now with compliance, especially with the sanctions on Tornado Cash, right? So that's a thing that we had in our minds. Uh, we discovered the gap initially, uh, which is about privacy, and then we realized there is a factor going on with compliance because when you offer privacy, you need to be also compliant by regulatory framework in the state that you are working on. And when you have a global approach, the problem is more complicated. So that's why we had lots of interactions today, finding out opinions and frameworks about legal, uh, let's say auditors and other companies that do this kind of stuff. So us understanding how to be compliant, but also to maintain the right, which is a human right to stay private. Awesome, and I promise you now we're gonna go to happy hour, enjoy the sun, we'll get some really nice shots of the CN Tower, the lake, and this amazing conference. The energy's still hot here. It's about 4 p.m. Eastern time in the afternoon, and people are still going strong. Thank you, son. Thank you, Christian, for this amazing interview.